Hello, everyone. Welcome to this Energy Quick Chat, where we rub minds with stakeholders and players in the energy market. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited has announced that it has exported to France and Netherlands two cargoes of 950,000 barrels each of its newly launched Nembe crude oil grid. The exports resulted through a joint venture between the State Oil Company and ITO Eastern Exploration and Production Limited. To discuss this latest development is Nobet Shaosuk. He's an oil and gas policy expert and chief executive officer at Echo City Projects. It's good to have you here, Nobet. Thank you very much, Justina, for having me. It's always a pleasure to be on your platform. Yeah. Now, um, let's speak a bit more about this um, newly launched um, crude oil grid. How does this um, impact Nigeria's output position moving forward? Okay, well, um, I think it's a welcome development. First of all, you know, we have been struggling over the years with uh, low crude oil production due to sabotage on our major export terminals. And so uh, the approval of new export terminals basically provides an alternate route uh, for export of Nigeria's oil. Uh, as our August, of course, you know, our oil production was below a million barrels. Uh, today, uh, as a last report, I think we we're almost at 1.5 million barrels per day. So I guess it's strategies like this that have uh, been able to help us get these uh, little weeds. Uh, we still have a long way to go uh, to get to the 1.7 million barrels quota that we are from OPEC, but I think this is a good uh, development. Now, um, there's been this conversation about why Europe is such an attraction for Nigeria. What are your thoughts on this? Well, uh, Europe and specifically, I'll say the Northwest Europe, of course, uh, that is a key refining hub. And so, of course, they need a lot of crude oil and uh, crude oil uh, grades, such as the Nembe uh, grade, is uh, in high demand. And so, um, it's no surprise that uh, the, few, the first few cargoes went to Netherlands and, uh, the, and, and France. And so, uh, I, I see uh, a lot of demand for this crude oil, especially considering that it's a very, very fine grade. And so, uh, of course, uh, Europe will always be... Uh, uh, an attraction for us because that's where all the refineries are and it's a major hub for refining and trading of petroleum products. Right. So yeah. what do you think the pricing dynamics would be for the new Nigeria oil grid? Well, um, the, you know, uh, crude oil is all about uh, how rich the crude oil is in terms of distillates and how light it is. And uh, currently, of course, you know that the Bonny light, you know, commands a premium on uh, Brent. Uh, as of today, I think uh, the Brent is trading for about $80 uh, there about, and uh, Bonny is about 81 So Nigeria's uh, light crude oil distillates always command um, uh, a premium. And we expect that the Nembe uh, grade will also uh, command a, a, a premium above uh, the Brent. Because of course it is uh, rich in distillates and uh, we're very very good API and it's also low in sulfur, so I expect um, it to command a premium uh, above uh, brands in the market. Now, do you foresee further partnerships and export potentials between Nigeria and other producers? Well, um, I think the ITO. Uh, NMPC partnership is first of already, I think, three licenses that have been given. Uh, two other licenses have been approved earlier in the year. And uh, we hope those guys would also come up uh, uh, to come, come on stream, just like ITO has with the Nembe uh, crude oil export terminal. Uh, and so um, the, the, the current government, I think, kudos to them. They have done well in coming up with this strategy. And uh, as three licenses have been given, I'm sure I show you that a lot more are on the way, uh, as this is the only way you can have an alternate route to the currently uh, sabotaged uh, export terminals. Uh, it's difficult getting uh, crude oil through the Nembe uh, uh, Creek uh, uh, trunk line. Uh, There's a lot of sabotage on that line, and that is the line that leads, I think, to the Bonnie export terminal. 
And so for all the producers that are along that route is quite a, a, a problem for them exporting their crude without getting you know uh, poached. And so uh, I think uh, we're going to see uh, a lot of effort, especially by government, to encourage you know uh, crude oil producers to uh, come and get licenses for export. Uh, and I know that is one of the focal points, or what I say, the policy thrust of this current government to get Nigeria's crude oil export up. You know, we need to get our production up because we desperately need that money. Nigeria is struggling right now with uh, hyperinflation and uh, the issue of um, devaluation of our currency. And you know that, the, the, that our currency is heavily uh, depend, dependent on uh, our oil revenues, and as there are no oil revenues to give us that dollar that we need to to hedge an error, you know we are struggling right now with um, our currency hitting almost a thousand dollars, a thousand two hundred, and a thousand three hundred a month ago. And thankfully, of course, with the new deal they have with uh, financiers to hedge their future and uh, LNG cargoes, they are able to get some dollars to uh, hedge. Uh, the Naira. And so, so far, we've seen the Naira come down below a thousand and uh, we're hoping this will be sustained uh, to encourage investments in the country. So, uh, of course, you're going to see more uh, uh, investments in private terminals, export terminals, uh, as government, you know, works to improve our uh, production. Right. Hopefully that comes comes live soon. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts on these latest developments in the Nigerian crude oil market. Nobet Shalsuk, oil and gas policy expert and chief executive officer at Echo City Project. Thank you, sir. And that's it on our Energy Quick Chat this week. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I am Justina Okechuku. Bye for now.